In a hotspot for old antiques, It's Time in Norwood is the place to find vintage collectibles. Owner Jacqueline Spada says she's got some old but interesting items. I think the um, oldest collectible I would have here are some of the older books. I have some from the late 1800s and the early 1900s. I love things that have a story behind them and that have a little bit of a history. It's Time is located in the Winsmith Mill Market, a 27-acre complex housing 14 shops run by local artists and craftsmen. Spada says it's a perfect destination for her collectibles. The Winsmith Mills is an awesome, um, um, it's a destination for people. So there's a lot of foot traffic and I thought it was a great place to try to have a shop and it's been really fun. One thing that makes Spada's shop unique is that all of the collectibles were previously owned by her and to sell those items she had to make a big change in her life. Actually we've had a lot of um, people, um, parents and aunts and uncles that have passed and we've inherited a lot of this stuff. Uh, my husband and I had um, sold our family home of 33 years and um, we decided to um, try to um, pass on our collection to other people who may enjoy them. When Spada first decided to open an antique shop, she wanted to find the perfect name. And while there are a lot of timepieces in her store, its time has a bigger meaning than just clocks. Something popped into my head like, you know, it's time. And um, it, to me it was almost like a, a play on words too because not only could it be it's time, like it is time, it's also it's time, like, you know, this, par this particular you know, items time. And while Spada says she has a passion for antiques and collectibles, it's the interaction with customers that she really enjoys. It's great to talk to people like-minded like myself that like things that are older and um, uh, just to hear their stories. And they all have their own um, collectibles that they collect and um, they all have stories of finding that, you know, looking for that holy grail of their collectible. Spada and her store have been open for a few months now and even though business can be slow at times, she's really not worried about sales. But once I'm in here, I just feel like I belong here and um, it's just very comfortable and um, if I sell something, I sell something. If I don't, I don't. So I don't have to like sell everything to, um, to, to make a living. It's, this is more almost like a hobby. So it's been amazing. So if you're looking for antique jewelry, china, books, or just some really cool vintage collectibles, it's time for you to stop by Spada Shop at the Winsmith Mill. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Brianna LeBlanc.